Hi, my name is Dewan Johnson, and I am a graduate here at Central Visual Performing Arts High School. I graduated in 2012. From there, I went to University of Missouri, Kansas City, and graduated with my Bachelor's of Performing Arts with an emphasis in ballet and modern, and the major was performance technique. From there, I went to Alonzo King Lyons Contemporary Ballet training program for two years, graduated from there, went to join a professional company called Two Dance in Minnesota, and now I'm dancing with Be More Dance in Dallas, Texas. Every time I come back to St. Louis, Missouri, and I visit Central, I'm always looking for that student, that one particular person that has that spark, that grit, that determination, that passion, that drive to succeed in the arts. And I've been here for about three weeks now, and I feel like I found that one particular student who I believe when he graduates his senior year, oh, mind you, he's a sophomore. When he graduates his senior year, he'll be able to go to Broadway. He'll be able to do jazz, modern, contemporary. He'll be able to do classical ballet. He'll be able to do everything. No matter where he goes, he'll be able to fit in. That student's name is Jaden Brown. See, today what we're gonna do for you is show you one particular style of dance. That is hoofing. See, Hoofing originated when slaves came over to America. They used it as a form of communication from one another, from one plantation to another. They used the drums in their hands and the rhythmical sounds in order to communicate with one another. See, hoofing is described as dancing into the floor along with stomps and stamps with an emphasis on rhythmic percussions of music, sounds and syncopations. See, eventually the slaves learned that the slave masters caught on to their communications, their signals, there's warning signals. Oh, master is coming. Oh, let's stop. Oh, it became a rebellious activity that allowed them to be able to say, we're leaving tonight. We're doing this today. Oh, I'm not going to participate. Let's go on strike. And eventually they switched it from their hands and the drums to their feet. It went from just natural barefoot rhythms to eventually them taking nails and putting them on the bottom of their shoes. Eventually, they switched to bottle caps. And from there, it transpired into the taps that we see today. See, they say there are only five forms of tap, but there are actually six. Hoofing is the original form of tap. And today, me and Jaden are going to show you some hoofing. Jaden, come on out here, boy. Come on, come on, come on. This is Jaden Brown, everybody. Jaden Brown. Everybody give Jaden Brown a call. Yes, 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 yes. Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. So, Jaden Brown here is a sophomore here at Central Visual Performing Arts High School. The high school I graduated from, the high school he's going to graduate from, and I feel like he's continuing that legacy. Not just the legacy here at Central Visual Performing Arts, but also Ray Park's legacy. And I think that's important to have that continuation of the legacy. So today we're going to show you what we can do. We got a little routine here for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. 
He keep it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. See, I think y'all need to see what we can do individually. What I mean by that is, let's see the different eras. Oh, Sancho, 12, dub 12, dub 12, dub 12, oh. versus new Sancho. Let's go, brother. All right, now y'all come back now. 